First thing they did was go up and survey it out because they needed to know where the steel was underneath. And what they do is paint it up into a section. They've got a concrete saw up there and they'll cut those just in a, in a pattern. And then they'll take a drill up there to drill through so they have some way to lift it up. And then they'll just take an excavator and pull it up and pull it, turn around and load it on trucks. They have to keep it equal on both sides. They'll start in the middle and work out until all the concrete is gone. After that, they'll start on the superstructure steel. Before we get to the truss, they'll start removing some cross frames and some steel that are not necessary for the bridge to actually be stable. And once they get all that done, we'll start removing the truss. We'll pick it off piece by piece. It will be a slow process to, to remove it because they've got to go up there and cut it loose. But yes, you will see one day there'll be a whole truss up there and the next day there'll be a hole in it. It'll take a day to take one big piece down because these are not small pieces that they'll be lifting down when they're doing this. To tear this bridge down, tear all these piers out, build a new bridge in 10 months is very aggressive. There's a tight schedule and the contractor has assured us that he's going to get it 